Hey, St. Basil Parish family. It's Tommy Dome from the Parish staff saying hello to you and letting you know that I've been getting ready. I've been getting ready for Pentecost and for opening weekend here at St. Basil's. A lot of us have. Been really looking forward to this, right? So I've been bringing a couple things over from the church to try and make this just a more sacred place. But something struck me. And it comes from the readings for this coming Sunday on Pentecost. So listen to this. This is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost had come, suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. Now let me stop right there. It sounds like the rush of a mighty wind. And I can't help but hear that rushing wind sound. And you won't either, because here in the Fame Life Center, we've got this HVAC system <laughs> that's super loud, and it just reminds me of the rushing wind of Pentecost. So we've got the sound under control. But the other thing is this small detail, this single word in the next verse. It filled all the house where they were sitting. All the house. Not a castle, not a mansion, not a church, not a basilica, not the temple. The Holy Spirit came into a house, a simple place. An ordinary place, like a gymnasium. And the Holy Spirit is totally fine coming to a simple, humble place that isn't the ideal or isn't perfect. You know, my home isn't perfect. And the home of my soul isn't perfect. But God is still more than happy to come wherever he is invited. And this also got me thinking about Christmas because I was moving this statue over from the church, from the Adoration Chapel, actually. And I don't really know where to put it to make it look good. That's why we have a worship commission that's really good at these things. So for the time being, I just put this statue of Mary here in this, like, gym concession stand window, which seems pretty weird, seems out of place. But that just reminded me of Christmas. Last Christmas seems like it was 10 years ago, and the next Christmas seems like it's going to be a decade from now. But one of those lessons of Christmas is... He wasn't born in a castle, born in a cave, in a manger, a simple place, a dirty place. But God is happy to come down into our ordinary life, into our messy lives, our stressful lives, and just make a home. And that's what we're trying to do here for our parish family this opening weekend and, and however long we're in this gym. I mean, obviously, this isn't the ideal we don't need that for, for God to do something amazing. But a lot of people have been hard at work. Our safety committee with fire chiefs and first responders, and they're so good at this stuff. So we've got all the chairs set up to, to get just the maximum number of people that we can. And we're, we have an overflow room where they'll, they'll be able to watch if you can't come. But for those of you who can't come, I just wanted to share that, that verse from Acts chapter 2, where God comes into a house. So even if you are not coming... This weekend, and you're just going to join us by the live stream, the Holy Spirit can come into your house. And one of the other reasons we wanted to live stream here from the gym is to let everybody at home see what we're doing, what this experience is going to be like, and the safety protocols that we have in place, because we want you to feel safe. So I'm going to get back to work and... Uh, we just can't wait for you. And grace is going to fall on this place, as promised. Just like it did in the first Pentecost, that real Pentecost, and just like it will this weekend at another real Pentecost. God bless.